We're ready for our next example. We're going to take the derivative of this function here. So we want to find y prime. All right. So y prime is, now I'm going to apply the derivative to the whole function. 2t squared, 3 times 2t plus ln. Oop, that sh x should be a t. So I'm writing my prime up here. Now this is not a ddx derivative, this is really a ddt. So when we use prime, one of the advantages is it requires less writing, but the disadvantage is it doesn't tell us what variable we're taking derivative with respect to, but it's usually pretty obvious. It's generally gonna be x, uh, sometimes it'll be t, and on a few other occasions in word problems, it could be other letters as well. All right, we're gonna distribute it across the plus, and let's get crazy and do the constants at the same time. So this first two over t squared, so remember that is two times t to the negative two. And we're taking a derivative so that two, that two is a coefficient and is not affected by the derivative, plus, now here, this one's a little tricky. Here's the function part, and this is a constant multiple rule. So that three's out front, two t prime plus ln t prime. All right, we're ready to take these derivatives. First one, you saw before, this is just the power rule. Bring that negative two in front as coefficient times t, drop the power by one, it's negative three. Next up, this is not the power rule. It looks like it, but it's not the power rule. This is an exponential function. This is what we have here, and our a, I believe, is 2. So this does confuse people. They look similar. What's the difference between these two? The difference is where the variable is. If the variable is in the base, it's a polynomial up top. And if the variable's in the exponent, it's an exponential. And the derivatives are very different, even though they tend to look somewhat similar. All right, again, this is not a polynomial because the variable is in the exponent. All right, derivative of this is ln of two, ln of that base times the original two to the t. And it looks like I've already screwed this up a little bit. These should be added together. And then the next one, derivative of ln t, if you look back on that list, it's one over t. That is our derivative here. You could make it look a little bit nicer, but there's not too much you can do. Negative two times two is negative four, t to the negative three. You could bring the two t in front, two to the t times ln two. Uh, although that doesn't really matter, the order, uh, plus 1 over t.